Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sam. I'm one with two boys. Um, I finally picked the camera up after the new year. Um, I've been a little bit quiet on all my social medias. Struggling a little bit with my mental health, if I'm completely honest. Um, so I've had to break. But I'm going shopping with my mum today. It is Alfie's birthday on Sunday, which is probably the day you're going to watch this. So I need to nip into town. I need to get balloons and banners and all those kind of bits and pick up a couple of last bits of presents for him. I've actually seen somebody posted that in Aldi, which is where I'm going, um, they have weighted blankets and they're in like Pokemon and stuff. So pointing um i'm gonna have a look for those and see if i can get one of those because i think that would really really help him and i've been looking at them so much um for the last probably six months and couldn't decide but they're normally really expensive but i think somebody said these were 19.99 so i'm gonna grab one of those i think um but yeah um i will chat a little bit later and there's my mum um <laughs> um i have missed you guys so much actually but i've also then struggled with wanting to talk on camera as well so but anyway let's just get going with the day we're in B&M and we're just having a nosy and stuff we're coming for Alfie's presents really but I just picked up her blanket and I was like oh I like that and at the same time mum said oh I like that yeah. and we both picked up the same thing on the same uh, but it's um a Sherpa type like thing about but with like a velvet crushed velvet type and it would go because my bed is crushed velvet but it's silver but I've got too many blankets as it is. My bed is like a grey oh, silver type colour. Yeah. Oh, I like these. These are lovely colour. They're not quite Natural. coming on. It's more of like, a, it's not quite white. It's coming off creamy on the camera. It's got more of a brown tone to it. But yeah, it, it's, where's it's the blanket I got? This, this is what I got at home, Mum. This is why I'm bringing together. Yeah, so this is what I've got for yeah. my sofa. This, it's called a chunky... Teddy Sherpa throw. Oh, it is so warm. And it is so warm. But my dad had bought me for Christmas um an electric blanket, not for your bed, like a, a throw blanket that's electric one, which I can't wait to use. Still in the thing about I've not had a sofa day, so look at the state of me. I got trapped in I think my phone out because I got trapped in hail, rain, and snow. Which is just brilliant. Um so, oh, but I've got the bits, most of the bits I wanted to get for Alfie, I wanted to try and get him like a big Lego set, um, because it's something that really, really grabs his attention and holds it um, until he's completed a set. I do have him a box, um, but I wanted to see if I could find a bigger one, but they didn't have any now. The only other place was Smith's, but it's miles away really, it's not too close. So I'm gonna have a look on Amazon, I think, but I went and did an Aldi shop and ended up going mad. Um, I finally bought some, oh look at the state of my gray hairs. They are so bad. So I'm gonna wash this as much as possible out with like dandruff shampoo, but I absolutely love the ginger kind of color like this more, this is looking a bit weird in here. Let's have a see in natural light. That light's yellow in there. like this gingery look on it. So I've gone and bought myself some ginger hair dye. <laughs> but my bit, my living room on. It looks super bare because the Christmas tree is gone. But it looks massive and it looks super clean. I need to go over that with um, an actual like glass cloth because of it's all streaky from washing all the snow bits off it. Um, but it feels super empty. I've got an hour until I go and pick up Alfie. Um, so I need to put the shopping away, but my arms are absolutely killing me um, and my shoulders. I did get in this though. Now I saw the idea for this um, from somebody who posted about Barbie pieces, but I thought actually Alfie likes to keep like the little Lego men with their swords and hats and and all those kind of things together but they're like in a tub together where you can't i can't do it one-handed okay i've done it and he's got a search and rummage and whatever so i got this so it's like a little compartment it was only two pound in b&m but i'm going to put a sticker on the front saying lego 
So we can like put the men and all the bits and pieces in there and he's gonna absolutely love things like that. So, ooh, it took me till half past five. Well, I've done a bit of housework as well, but to get the shopping away and to get myself straight. <laughs> so I'm just starting tea. This one is sat, um, is playing Minecraft. Mummy cat is hanging around with us. That is all like chocolates and the bot there's a little bit of craft stuff that needs to go in the craft cupboard but I need to sort the craft cupboard out. Um I am well looking forward to this. I'm actually hungry. Um I've not had much of an appetite recently. Um but I am struggling with all the chocolate in the house. I'd kinda of just want it gone. Um Oh, I think there's lots of people like that at the moment. Um, who's got loads of cheese and stuff left in their house? Because I have. In fact, I haven't had a cheese and cracker yet at all. Maybe that's tomorrow night's tea for me. Cheese, pate, bread, crackers. That sounds good, actually. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. Oh, you, if you've not got one of these, this is what mum got me for Christmas, this snood thing. It's like a, I'm going to go in there because it's the weird lighting in here. It's like a blanket dress is the best way I can describe it. And it's goddamn amazing. There's no having to tie it, having to kind of adjust it. None of that with a dressing gown. It is amazing. Now I'm going to show you in the mirror because I'm a size 18. And this is the medium to large. Now, I would never have picked the medium to large up for myself because I thought it wouldn't fit. But this is well big enough. Watch. You'll have to excuse my mirror. It needs a thing about after wiping the snow off it. But, like, there is so much room in here. I mean, they're meant to be oversized, but... And it comes, like... <laughs> it comes past my knees. So... There's definitely room for like larger sizes in it. I love you too, darling. You saying hello to everybody? No, that's okay. You don't have to. You don't want to? Tired. Pizza and early night. Pizza and an early night. Love you. Love you. Love you. I already said it. <laughs> um, oh, I, I know what. I came out here and I went to go out at the front and I couldn't remember what it was. And the minute my memory is shocking. Um, I restarted my search for lean. Um, so let's hope that kicks in really soon. It's another reason I've not been on here. Um, I have struggled a lot. A lot, a lot for me. Um, but I've been feeling a lot better the last day, a day or two. Mood is not as low, which is fucking winning my eyes. A goddamn win. Um, I don't swear on here very often, but that is how I feel. Um, right, I am going to chill out whilst key tea cooks. Pot said I'm going to do something. I'm not. I'm going to sit on the sofa and do nothing until tea is cut. Because I can't bother to go upstairs and put that washing on the radiators. <laughs> so I think I'll just sit and do nothing. Win-win. He's shouting, I better do something. You're not doing anything. What are you doing? Playing on his tablet. I'm talking to everybody on YouTube. That don't get a response. Oh, wrong way. Hold on. I've got the whipped cream. This from Aldi has been used so many times, hasn't it? Because Grandad bought the boys a packet of marshmallows and some sachets as well. Um, so literally just put this two little. Hold on. You get one of these, which is for frothy milk, which doesn't take as much milk, and then you get one less just this like black bit that's like shorter than this piece although you can whiz the milk with that one just just pop it out of that ring because I didn't realize what I was doing at first and took it apart um and you put 
we've put the powder in this one you can put grated chocolate in there like fine grated chocolate and make any type of hot chocolate you want um but the boys are just using powder at the moment um out of all the kits and things they've got at christmas but it literally heats up and it's absolutely amazing um you love it don't you so does dylan um it gets used all the time and it's great to go all alongside with this if we've got guests or whatever like we've got powdered and you could make ovaltine and stuff use all of those with it or grated chocolate which we haven't tried yet but i'm sure we might try it this weekend but we are literally going through so much milk <laughs> aren't we careful because i don't know if that gets hot no it's not hot but yeah we don't i don't do a full <laughs> yeah it's whizzling around isn't it look there's a tornado yeah that's what there. i say whizzling around You've just stuck your head in the way, can't see. But yeah, um, I don't let you do a full cycle with Alfie, um, so we don't have to add any cold milk in there. Um, but you could definitely do that. Um, but I also fill it slightly. When it turn it off, I'll show you. I fill it above the fill line so that they get a decent hot chocolate with it. Um, it's one way to get extra calcium in them. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you can feel the heat coming from the top actually, rather than this doesn't get hot. A little bit. It's warm. It's not. It's not. It's not even warm. I can. It, it, you know what I mean. I can tell it's on. Is probably the best word. So they can use it all on their own. Really, I do supervise Alfie though, because pouring it in is probably a little bit hard. But it works like a kettle. It comes off this base, and it's got like a kettle attachment in the middle. Um, you just turn it on. Super easy. You can also take the lid off. I've just checked that, and it is hot and ready. And it's like, what? I'll show you. Ooh. creamy hot chocolate these cups are really big the kids have got but no. so yeah so that is the top fill line i fill it above that about mm, over half an inch higher i leave about half an inch or three two two thirds of an inch above the top absolutely fine um perfect amount are you having cream Monkey man, do you want your squirt of cream or do you want just marshmallows? Never, never. You don't want some more on your, on your hot chocolate? No. No, you sure? Just be careful, it might be a bit hot. Mummy's not actually tried to drink it. No. Want me to try first? Yeah. <laughs> Chief tester with a poop mug. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes when you use powder, you can get it not very mixed. Just that yeah. good? Yeah. Just the warm enough, but I yeah. Like it. Um, and that literally took minutes. So I told the kids to always put water in here to soak it. Um, but yeah, like it's got like a kettle attachment on the bottom. If you've got like a caravan or a motorhome or something like that, um, and you do travel in the winter with it, like my dad does, that would be amazing. I only did this this morning because I didn't have enough time to make it curly. It's not quite long enough at the back, so it's got a million clips at the back of my head to hold all these little bits in at the back. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm anxious. I'm on edge. The next 45 minutes are going to be telling. So, we shall see how it goes. Are you going to show everybody what you got for Christmas? From Mummy. From Mummy. A new tablet. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to show them some of your things you've built on Minecraft? Did you forget all your worlds back, darling? What? Did you get your worlds back? No. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Let's get a haircut, mister. No. We'll do it when you're ready. Yeah. We need to think about it soon though, okay? Can we okay. turn it to daytime? Uh, okay, I'll do it to daytime. Just so we can see easier. There's a cheat to make it. Mm. Uh, always make cheats. Oh. Always day. But there we go. So it's not finished yet. No. But but some of the things he did build 
on here. You built mansions with ponds, didn't you? Big houses and a dog that had an in house inside it, didn't you? It was yeah. absolutely incredible. So, I'll show you around. Go on, then you show us around, darling. So, this is the entrance. Mm hmm. And then you go in. Straight away, you see a spiral staircase, that's it. So, if, just one second, Alan. If you don't know Minecraft, it's basically blocks. And he has to place every block where he wants them to be able to create this. So, he has built this from just square blocks. Yeah. Um, and you also no, have to create... Square yeah, but you have to create the blocks as well, don't you? No, it's um, creative. Oh, that's in creative. So, if you, sometimes you can make things, can't you? Like, coal from wood blocks and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Charcoal, sorry. But yeah, go on then. So, and then you go up the spiral staircase and that's the floor that I'm working on. Oh. Are you going to add another layer? Like no, a this is the second layer. Yeah, and I'm going to add a third one. I'll see. I'll see. Yeah. He's always been very creative. Like I say, he loves um, jigsaws, um, crafts, things that he can use his imagination for because his imagination is for while. I know it's dark, but we're going to say goodnight, aren't we? Goodnight. This one's getting a treat of watching some um, Fast and the Furious Sky Racers, a kiddies version of it um, that he's been watching. So he's getting that as a treat tonight uh, in his bedroom because he's not actually meant to be here. So yeah, um, but aside from that, he's happy and that's all that matters to me. So... I'm going to go and enjoy my bath because it's currently run um, while he watches a bit of that. And then I'm going to use some lush. Look at these, look. These are all lush. Um, if you want me to do like a what I got, then let me know in the comments and I'll do that. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching and I shall see you all really soon in my next video. Goodbye.